may begin. Okay. Um, so there are approximately 1,400 plants and animals in the United States um, listed as endangered. Since 1972, when the Endangered Species Act was established, only 46 species have been delisted and are no longer considered endangered. 27 species were removed from the list due to data error, and this error means that these species uh, were not really endangered in the first place. Five species, um, including the bald eagle, were delisted due to factors unrelated to the ESA, such as the ban on the pesticide DDD, which we talked about earlier, and five species were delisted for a variety of other reasons, such as private and state, not federal, conservation efforts. It costs between $50,000 to $100,000 to list the species as endangered. As of 2009, over $100 million from taxpayers' money was spent merely to list the species as endangered. The ESA, however, lists species randomly. In the first five years after the passage of the ESA, 96, 96 species were placed on the list. Um, these included 21 plants, 12 reptiles, 10 fish, six, um, 8 birds, 6 mammals, and 29 mollusks. So you might be thinking, why such a high number on mollusks? So apparently one of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service biologists at the time specialized in the study of mollusks and focused on placing them on the endangered species list. So while I was reading, um, while I was doing my research for this debate, the more I was reading, the more I realized that the government used the ESA to throw dust in the eyes of the misinformed environmentalists. As the chairman of House Committee on Natural Resources, Robert Bishop has argued, the ESA has never been used for the rehabilitation of the species. It's been used for controls of the land. Landowners can be fined up to $100,000 and or sentenced to up to one year in jail for harming a protected species or even its habitat. Again, I remind you all of the data errors in listing um, endangered species. 78% of the species um, listed on the private, on, I'm sorry, 78% of the species listed are on private land. Is it ethical for the government to, per, um, to force a farmer to pay most of the cost of protecting a species that is suddenly found on their property? Landowners receive no compensation for the last of land value or income. As an adverse effect, landowners have rid their property of endangered species or habitat in fear of being penalized. I ask you all, do you think the ESA is really working? According to a recent study, 56.5% of the sample agreed that landowners should be compensated when the ESA prevents them from using the property, and only 11% of the sample supported the current regulations of the Act. I think we all agree that the government should protect individuals and value property rights. I, that is all. All right.